Jacob Taylor is average. He lives on the outskirts of Falkirk, doing an average job, earning an average amount of money. He is of average height and weight, although probably below average intelligence. However, he is incredibly unhappy about how he looks. He desperately wishes to look more youthful, despite being of an average but relatively young age. Having booked an appointment at a clinic many months ago, the day has finally arrived for Jacob to transform the way he looks and become a younger and better version of himself. Jacob has come to the Oak Medical Practice to see Dr Stephanie Miller about possible procedures. You may answer. Hello. So, hi, um, Mr. Taylor. Yeah. I take it you have heard of the new experimental drug EX24561348Q? Yeah, it sounds right for Yeah, okay. So, it has been shown to show a significant reduction in the appearance of age. However, I must warn you that there are some serious side effects that you're at risk of having. Some side effects may include swollen glands, enlarged spleen, liver failure, and abnormally large reduction in age and erectile dysfunction. Is that okay? Yeah, sounds fine. Okay. So if you're all clear on that, I think we're ready to go. Today? Yes, today. The process is fairly quick. It shouldn't take more than an hour. I may have to put you under, however, the process can be quite painful. Are you sure I'm fine for dinner today? Yeah, well, look, of course, of course, look, I've, I've got a needle, I've got gloves, I've got a mask, I've got a stethoscope, and I have a severe addiction to Grey's Anatomy, so you've got nothing to worry about, I know what I'm talking about, 13 seasons. Yeah, okay, I trust you. Okay, so if you just come over to the bed area, it'll be fine. Sorry, I haven't actually done this procedure before, so I need my notes. Alright. So, now, Mr. Taylor, you might be beginning to feel a bit woozy due to the anaesthetic, so if you could just rhyme off your favourite contagious illnesses for me. Yeah, I don't really know my contagious illnesses, so I think that'll be quite troublesome for me. Okay, I count to ten, we'll do just fine. One, two, Three, four, five. Jacob awakens to find six. Dr. Miller peering over him. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that this has happened. What? What on earth? Why am I so young? I must have administered too large of a dosage of the drug. I'm so incredibly sorry, but I can't book you for an emergency appointment until tomorrow morning. Wait, so I need to walk around like this for the rest of the day. I'm, I'm so sorry, Mr. Taylor. Goodbye, have a nice day. Oh, Shaken and shocked by his drastic change in appearance, Jacob attempts to continue his day as normally as possible. However, his change in appearance has also seemed to affect the way in which he is behaving, becoming more childlike and dependent on others. He walks to the office at which he works and is unsurprisingly met by an array of reactions. Spinning chairs, yeah. Jacob's boss, Mr Duncan Jones, is understandably as confused and as shocked as his employees. However, he has tried to cater for his new staff member in the best way possible. Working with Jacob has been quite a challenge today. I mean, he remains very unfocused in the workplace and he's failed to complete loads of tasks. I've had to put someone to watch him like, all the time because he's broken loads of high-tech pieces of equipment. Let's just say it's been a very long day. We also speak to Jamie, one of Jacob's co-workers and a close friend of his. Jacob has been an absolute nightmare today. He always talked about wanting to look younger, 
but I never believed he'd actually go through with it, or that he'd end up like this. He's been totally out of control, mainly because he managed to find my secret stash of Haribos, which I hide in the staff room cupboard. After munching the whole bag, he's been high on a sugar rush ever since. Right, I'm taking you home. No, I didn't want to go home! Jacob is dropped off at the home which he shares with his wife Natalie, who has already been informed of the situation. Understandably, she is very shocked and confused by what has happened. I also got a massive fright when Jacob turned up at the door, transformed into a child. I received a phone call from his work to explain the situation, but it was a shock nonetheless. I have tried to make the evening as fun as possible for him, put on some cartoons and some games. But we don't have any children so it's all new to me. The dog's been running around all night too. He doesn't know what to make of it. <coughs> Murphy, shut up! Sorry about that. Hopefully this will make him realise the dangers of all these procedures. He could have got himself into a lot of bother. I'll be very happy once all this mess is sorted out. Jacob is tucked up in his bed around 8pm as he is very tired. Tomorrow, Natalie will take him to the doctor's surgery for his emergency appointment, hoping to be successfully changed back into an adult. After filming, Jacob was successfully given a reversal drug to transform him back into an adult. He has since not undertaken any other cosmetic procedures and has learnt to be happy with the way he looks.